Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. I'm an SAP architect and in this uh, session I'm going to explain you all regarding the various versions in SAP S4 HANA. Uh, in this like uh, we have uh, we have been seeing that uh, SAP HANA since its launch has has uh, come up with a lot of versions of SAP S4 HANA. So we'll, we'll look at uh, what are the different versions that SAP has launched till date and uh, what uh, what would be the various versions which are going to be launched in the near future. So if if at all, if you are looking for SAP S4 HANA training, we can, you can contact us on uh, email IDs uh, on the screen, info at the jlsoftech.com and jlsoftech at gmail.com. You can also, uh, uh, Ping us on the message in a message in uh, the WhatsApp number seven eight four two triple zero triple five. Yeah. So SAP S four HANA is basically a business suit for SAP HANA. So it, it actually uh, in you know S four HANA means a business suit for SAP HANA. So in short, it's called as SAP S four HANA. Is a business suit that is built on SAP's proprietary operational database system and in-memory computing platform called SAP HANA. So basically, SAP HANA is a platform on which this SAP S4 HANA has been built up, built up for the uh, enterprise solutions. So we have a major paradigm shift uh, after the 2010. So prior to 2010, SAP softwares were only being sold by this by the company sap and uh, the hardware and database used to be uh, taken care by others other companies like sap software was database independent and uh, hardware independent like you can you can go ahead and uh, purchase database and uh, hardware from other softwares but uh, other companies but after the after the 2010 that's a major paradigm shift sap has started uh, catering its its clients the uh, a combination of software <coughs> database and hardware so all these three together uh, is what uh, sap is uh, offering and in this uh, that's the reason it's also called as an appliance it's a it's an appliance because it's it's a it's a combination of software and hardware as well so that's where sap hana platform had been launched so the major purpose of SAP S4 HANA is uh, to cover all the day-to-day -day processes of an enterprise. For example, order to cash and procure to pay the P2P and uh, the plan to product and the request to service and core capabilities. So uh, keeping in mind all the core capabilities as well as the advanced concepts uh, are being taken care by SAP S4 HANA uh, versions of uh, software versions. So we have SAP HANA. Uh, the the purpose uh, it's it it also in, it inculcates other industry solutions like uh, you know SAP SRM CRM and uh, SEM uh, uh, solutions as well and and SAP S4 HANA runs only on HANA database so you cannot it's not a database independent as the previous versions so t before 2010 we had uh, you know a database independent uh, softwares but after after 2010 all the softwares which SAP has launched most of them would be running on HANA database and thus it's a packaged as one product that is SAP S4 HANA. So the basic differences between the R3 versions and the SAP S4 HANA is again the same thing. So you know uh, the same concept uh, taken forward like uh, uh, R3 based uh, business suit and related products were designed to run several database platforms <coughs> Oracle, Microsoft and IBM. But whereas SAP has said that SAP HANA platform can potentially save an organization 37% across hardware, software and labor costs as well. So SAP S4 HANA launch, the platform SAP S4 HANA has been available since 2010 and uh, there are various versions of ERP which have uh, come up and uh, basically this SAP S4 HANA had been particularly launched on 3rd February 2015 at the New York Stock Exchange and uh, it's like uh, there from from then onwards we have a lot of versions of sap s4 hana which come up uh, came up in the market so overview of the releases so people uh, you know uh, most of my friends keep asking me you know uh, that there are too many versions of sap s4 hana so you know uh, people get confused about uh, which version is uh, the latest one what version would be launched and all so i i give a simple uh, uh, basic logic that uh, sap follows 
uh, let's say if if we take the most popular SAP S4 HANA version like uh, 1709, uh, the 1709, if you if you have the if you have the uh, uh, version name as uh, 1709, that 17 uh, 17 represents the year in which it has been launched. So so this has been launched in 2017. And uh, the next two numbers represent the month. So here the month is September. So 09 represents the September. So this is how actually SAP uh, uh, puts up his its its name of the version. So we are looking. We we'll look at all the versions which uh, SAP has launched in SAP S4 HANA releases, and we we'll, we we'll see the same thing has been followed across all the releases that that SAP has done till date. So. For example, like these are the SAP S4 HANA on-premise releases. So as we already know, uh, most of us already know that uh, we have on-premise version. Let me just uh, look at, uh, let, let us look at that uh, element as well. So SAP S4 HANA can be deployed on on-premises, on-cloud and hybrid. So hybrid that supports uh, both the varieties of uh, deployment. And in this uh, on-cloud, it can be also uh, uh, maintained on, on a private cloud or a public cloud. So you can also maintain it on uh, Amazon as well, or you can have a public uh, cloud uh, platform as well. So, so coming back to the versions, we had on-premise versions. So in on-premise versions, we had the first release, which was uh, done in March 2015 was 1503. So the 15 represents the year 15, 2015, and 03 represents the month in which it has been launched. Uh, so here the same thing for, is followed for across all the versions. So these are the versions which have been released on on-premise, uh, 1503, 1511, 1605, 1610, and 1709. So 1709, uh, and, it, it, and if we take another one like 1610, you can easily the, by seeing the name of that uh, uh, you know version we can predict which when it was been launched so 16 represents the year and 10 represents the month in which it, it's been launched so in in out of all these uh, 1709 has been a very popular version till date in the on premise releases and we have the cloud releases and uh, in cloud releases we have 1503 1506 1511 1603 1605 1608 and 1611 are the various versions that we have in the cloud release. We, we also have 1702, 1705, 1708, 1709, 1711, 1802 and 1805. 1805 has been launched in May 2017 and uh, till date this is the latest one which has been released uh, uh, with all the updates. So I'm, I'll be just uh, discussing with uh, a, a basic overview of a, a couple of versions which have been very popular in these all uh, versions like which has been released by uh, SAP. And uh, in detail about these versions, uh, I'll be discussing in coming videos and sessions. So we have cloud is always on latest version. So the cloud version is a true public cloud version. That means that customers can only be on the latest release, which is uh, currently the below release that SAP S4 HANA Cloud 1805 is the latest release. So automatically the customers have been will be updated to the latest version when they are on the cloud platform. So this is the SAP S4 HANA Finance On-Premise Edition 1503, which is uh, uh, the first uh, of all the SAP S4 HANA versions, which was uh, prim primarily being focused on the finance upgradation. So it, which was already uh, all, uh, which was also called as SAP Simple Finance, uh, and uh, is the first release, and it is basically a finance add-on uh, SPIN 2.0 based on uh, NetWeaver platform and an enhancement package as well. So it offers a finance related HANA optimizations. SAP S4 HANA Finance on-premise edition 1503. So this edition would be suitable for existing SAP business suite customers looking for improvements on optimization in finance areas. As it comes from the innovations only for finance processes without disrupting other modules. So this is what actually was the first uh, you know, uh, version which has been launched in SAP S4 HANA. So on premise edition 1511, this is actually the product with the major uh, innovations. And uh, I mean, like uh, this was like uh, uh, one, I mean, like it was uh, the advanced edition of uh, S4 HANA, 
in which like uh, in 1511 the major change that we could see is uh, the addition of logistics as well so it offers simplifications in uh, materials resources planning inventory management capacity planning sales and distribution and procurement as well with the real time analytics and traditional data transactional data yeah so it is based on uh, uh, netweaver 7.5 and uh, it, it also had the fury uh, which has been launched for user experience so uh, though the fury component can be installed on a separate uh, front end server in a central central hub uh, develop, development deployment and uh, model so we have this is the first feature pack stack so feature pack stack is the fps and uh, if you can see uh, the version was uh, you know in the version name it was mentioned like fps01 uh, on premise edition it is uh, released in uh, february 2016 and based on netweaver platform on premise edition so in the fps 01 itself uh, we also had i mean the enhanced uh, uh, fury application uh, was uh, was, was, was been uh, launched and uh, on premise edition we have the uh, we had uh, two uh, new industry solutions like uh, higher education and research and uh, the defense and security as well so we have after q4 2016 uh, the, the fourth quarter and the release of uh, fps 03 uh, saps for hana on premise edition 1511 will be uh, switch to maintenance only mode uh, and then uh, like you know uh, the, the previous versions so from technical point of view there is no difference between fps and sps so sps is basically the support package uh, stacks so however the feature pack stacks include new and enhanced functionalities along with the bug fixes while support pack stacks will not offer any new functionality as they are just patches that's it so this is uh, that's a basic difference between fps and sps so i repeat uh, what I said, the FPS is uh, the uh, the feature pack stacks, which has the uh, advanced uh, and any enhancements would be served uh, to the FPS, but not for the SPS. So we have SAP S4 HANA on premise edition 1.5.1 FPS 02 with uh, with other other versions uh, with uh, additional features here. So we have SAP success factors. Uh, this is another another uh, innovation which had been you know launched um, so they integrated uh, existing success factors with the with the cloud platform on sap s hana and uh, to enable replication of uh, employee organizations and uh, cost center data so it also offers enhancements for curriculum management grading and advising progressions and graduation and student administration for higher education and research and uh, infrastructure declarations as well so we have uh, SAP S4 HANA Cloud 1608, uh, which you know uh, basically is a cloud platform on which uh, uh, we have uh, various advanced features. So uh, regarding the cloud, uh, cloud advanced, the cloud features, uh, SAP S4 HANA Cloud versions. I'll be discussing about that in the coming session uh, in in detail. So what we have dis discussed till date till now is uh, more of the on-premise editions of SAP S4 HANA and uh, thanks for watching this video and if at all if you have any uh, interest in 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 getting in sap s4 hana training you can contact us on our contact details which i have provided in the first slide and thanks for watching this uh, session and uh, yeah